Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matty with the Toaster Bros. And today we are partying together a $600 gaming PC. In this build guide, we are gonna show you how to put this PC together, all the parts that are making up this gaming PC build, then dive into some extensive testing. We're gonna show you exactly what kind of games this PC is made for, and then suggest different alternatives if for some reason the parts are out of stock. But the GP market is getting really good right now, and I do think this $600 build might actually be a little bit cheaper going later into this year. So definitely check those affiliate links down below. And this PC is going to be absolutely amazing for that budget at home gamer. On top of that, we got a car with NVENC encoder on it, so you are going to be able to stream on the system as well for those esports gamers out there. And if you're gonna be building this $600 PC at home, you're definitely gonna need Windows. And today's sponsor, GVG Mall, is your one-stop shop for Windows 10 keys and a bunch of other stuff. It's super simple, just use the link in the description down below and then type in code TB20 to get a fat discount off of that Windows 10 license. And then you basically go into Windows, plug in that code that they give you, and then boom, you have an activated Windows 10 or Windows 11 even. So definitely check the link in the description down below for the Windows 10 discount code, along with some other stuff that you can get from GVG Mall for your PC that you're definitely gonna be building right here. So. Big thanks to GVG Mall for sponsoring this PC build guide. Let's not waste any more time and go over the parts. All right, guys, so for this quick and easy build guide, we're just gonna get right into it. I'm in the top right corner if you wanna see a really in-depth build guide, but we're gonna make this nice and quick. So we have right here this beautiful Intel Core i3, and this is a 10100F 4 core 8 thread, no integrated graphics. You may be wondering, why didn't we go with an i5, i7, or i9? Because that 1650 is definitely going to already hold this i3 back a little bit. You really could pair a better graphics card with it. And so to install that beautiful Intel processor, we have a nice B560M Pro E here, which is actually a fairly mid-range board that does support an upgrade path. You could technically install that i5 or i7 or heck if you really want to be ballsy maybe even an i9 in here and it supports 11 gen because it's a b560. So the first step for building any good gaming pc is installing that intel i3. So we're going to go ahead and pull out this processor and then of course this is an LGA 1200 motherboard so it will work with 10th and 11th gen. So we're just going to line up our little arrow right here with the one here. We're going to keep this little plastic piece on and watch what's about to happen. Magic. I thought it was gonna fly, it really didn't. And so we actually decided to use the black Intel stock cooler because sometimes they come with both. It came with an ugly one, so we're going black so that it looks a little bit cleaner. And these coolers do come with thermal paste pre-applied from Intel, it's actually pretty decent stuff. And so we're gonna go ahead and get our little cable untangled here. We're gonna go ahead and run this under here so that our cable looks a little bit cleaner. So now we're gonna lift the board off the cardboard and then we're just gonna separately push each pin and do opposing corners so that you don't get any weird pinching or anything like that. Plug in our C CPU fan to the CPU fan header. And here we go. We're gonna go ahead and tuck this cable now to make it look a little bit cleaner. Boom. Now for the RAM, we have these two eight gig sticks of XPG A data, 3200 megahertz RAM. So we always like going with the decent speed, 3200 megahertz. We also like going dual channel. And all we gotta do for this is just line up these little notches down here. We only have two RAM slots, so we don't need to worry about installing it wrong because well, it can only go into the two slots. If you have four slots, you're gonna need to um, use the outer two slots. Now we're going to be installing this Western Digital Blue SN570. This is a NVMe Gen 3 SSD and is M.2 form factor. So once again, there's a nice little notch. You can install it backwards. And then we have our M.2 riser installed. Now we're going to take our tiny little M.2 screw and these will be tiny. So don't get these confused with other screws for like the power supply of the motherboard. Not super tight. These will break really easily. Just use two fingers to tighten it real gentle. And that looks perfect. Per <laughs> and one key vital tip, install your IO shield. All you have to do is get the IO shield that comes with your motherboard, line it up with the back slot in your case, which we'll talk about here in a minute. Boom, 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 we're all popped in and ready to go. Now for the power supply. We went with this EVGA 510B, which is an AV plus bronze 510 watt power supply. For a system like this, you really don't need much more than 400 watts, but we want to give this thing a little bit of upgrade room um, for a new GPU in the future. So installing this power supply is gonna be straightforward. We're gonna slide it into our deep cool matrix 40 case, which is an absolutely great case for the money, a bunch of RGB and stuff. And we'll be using these screws that came with it. And a screw in the power supply, you don't need a drill like we have right here, but it does make it a lot easier with those coarse threaded screws. Now that case that I mentioned, this is the Deep Cool Matrix 40, which comes with a bunch of RGB. You can get it with or without, but of course, if you have the money to spend, definitely get some RGB. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and install that motherboard into the case. It is a MicroATX case, but it has like a lot of room for like really wide motherboards. And this motherboard we have is kind of small for MicroATX. So once you get everything sat in nice and snug, you're going to screw in the motherboard with the fine thread screws and we're gonna go ahead and do that. All right, guy. <laughs> now we're gonna go ahead and plug everything into the motherboard to get this bad boy some power.
Now for the graphics card. This is the GTX 1650. Now you might be thinking, 1650, that's not that special. Well, the fact that we can actually buy these new now from Amazon with Prime shipping when a few months ago you couldn't do that, that's how special this thing is. And it's great for esports titles. So we're gonna go ahead and pop out our bracket here. One of the cool things about this graphics card as well is it does not require that external power. So when we were saying we we're plugging in all those cables, I mean, we really got it under control. We didn't, okay. <laughs> I'm way <laughs> off. This is a hard angle. Yeah, you really don't need a super high-end power supply for this, but you know what? We went with a good one just for upgrade future. And with this CPU that we went with, you can definitely upgrade to a better graphics card in the future because we set the system up great for upgradability. So that's pretty much how you build this computer. All we gotta do now is load some games on it and uh, show you guys exactly how this thing performs in your favorite games. All right, everyone, the first game we are testing out is Apex Legends, an absolutely fun AAA title to play that is free to play, so if you guys want to check it out, then definitely do so, but we are currently running on medium-high settings. We got FOV cranked up 1080p on this beautiful Pixel 165Hz 32-inch monitor. Let's see what she can do. Dude, why would that guy not die? She can't hit me. Oh, he can't hit me. Oh, oh no, that, that Don't is let him hit me. so sad. Oh, <laughs> you gotta do what you got to get kills like that. We're gonna go mostly and beat. How do I punch? My teammates probably just like. Oh, oh shit. I don't know how. Oh, no. Oh, that's a good That's one. a scroll. <laughs> there you go. That's a scroll right there. <laughs> The PC is definitely um, holding up just fine though. Uh, 1650, that i3 to 100F with the four cores and eight threads is really plenty for most modern games. And if you go like six core 12 thread, eight core 16 thread, you probably won't even notice a difference in most games. Oh, 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 oh God. It was good for a little bit. One, Ten, two, there we go. <laughs> Oh, oh, dude, they just hit me for a lot. Oh, man. Oh, no. What is he oh, doing? He can't hit a shot. Neither one of them can hit a shot. Oh, excuse me? What happened? Did the guy dead? I guess he was dead. All right, guys, we are now in Fortnite on pretty much pro settings. We are doing uh, performance mode. We are running epic QB distance, everything else on low. So we have landed somewhere we probably shouldn't have because we're getting shot at by AI. Oh, am I going to get killed by AI? I'm going to run away from them. That was probably a poor decision, but the frame rate isn't poor. Oh there my gosh, we, go. we have unlocked. Oh, the FPS has been unlocked. So look at that high refresh rate gaming experience. I don't know why I broke that tree down because I can't build. It's just habit, I guess. Oh, dude, he is blasting. How me. did he not kill me? Oh God. Is that person? That's a person. Go murk him. Somebody just killed him. There's definitely not. Oh God. Ooh. Oh, I, I went to a bad spot. They all suck. You can't come into my house. Oh no. Push me, I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> They're fighting each other. Oh no, he's dead. My Oh, he was right there. I could have blown him up. He could have. Oh, Dang. point. Well, I really wanted to do the, uh, just blowing up the house strategy. You still do it. it is that crazy. gasoline? You pour that it on is. the house too? All right, I'm gonna blow up the house and that's that's how we're gonna end this. I'm gonna hurt somebody, but. Oh, okay, that's that, actually kind of cool. That, that would have really, oh, oh hello. Oh. <laughs> I can't build. No. Oh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, wait, oh. We, can, we can actually shoot oh. Wow. Okay. Well played. Well, there's Fortnite. All right, guys, we are now in Rainbow Six Siege on high settings, and we're just doing a bot scenario, basically. And it is just me by myself. I have to go find a hostage. Uh, we are running on high settings and getting about 100 FPS. Do be nice to me because I have no idea what I'm doing in this game. No idea at all. So we're just gonna just go gun ho and just see what happens. Oh, I think I found the enemies. That was pretty simple. I like how you just go down to like prone on your ass. <laughs> Oh God, they're rushing me. Like, oh God, they're shooting through the wall, man. Oh no, oh God, these bots are aggressive and there's really this many people in this game? The hostage has been found. Can I get out of here in one piece? Scared to grab the hostage. I knew, oh my God, I got shot. <laughs> This is embarrassing. I just I just lost to a bot. It's playable. It works. Yeah, overall, this is a pretty awesome PC. Let's go and wrap this video up real quick. 
All right, guys, so we just showed just how good the Intel i3-2100F paired with the 1650 really is. And on top of that, we showed that in most games, you can pair a better graphics card with this i3 and get even more performance and even get into streaming as well. So for an all new parts build, we're very excited to bring you this build guide. And if you want to buy any of the parts from today's video, links in the description down below will be affiliate links and will help us out. We'll do our best to keep them updated with alternatives and links to multiple retailers so you can shop around at the place you choose to build this awesome gaming PC build. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye. And if you thought that we did pretty good on this build guide, you should see our building team over at PCBros.Tech. They're pretty handy. They're honestly better than us, to be honest. PCBros.Tech is where we sell gaming PCs like this and many others at great prices. If you just don't want to build it and want to have a one-year warranty on your PC, go buy from PCBros by checking the link in the description down below. See you guys later. Goodbye. Peace out.